We are looking live at NASA's Artemis Mega Moon rocket. If all goes well, it will be standing at Kennedy Space Center for just a couple more hours. Right now, we're about two hours away from the opening of the launch window. NASA is aiming for liftoff between 104 and 304 in the morning. A successful launch could put NASA on track toward landing the first woman and the first person of color on the moon. Thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Matt Austin. And I'm Lisa Bell. This is the first of a series of planned missions to explore the moon and beyond. NASA says the goal of this first uncrewed mission is to prove it can safely journey around the moon and make it back to Earth. We have team coverage of this early morning launch. New 6's Troy Campbell has been speaking with people who have been camped out all day to see the launch. Candace Campos has the launch window forecast, but we begin at Kennedy Space Center, where New 6's Eric Von Enken is live tonight. And Eric, a lot of activity around the launch pad in the past hour. Yeah, and Lisa, breaking news. Unfortunately, we have a problem, and it's a fairly big problem. So currently, NASA has stopped the flow of liquid hydrogen to the Artemis 1 rocket behind me on the launch pad. It's the replenishing of liquid hydrogen inside those tanks. Why is that a big deal? Because the liquid hydrogen is so cold, it is literally boiling off, constantly boiling off every single second. So they got to replenish it throughout the night, right up until the moment we launch. If they cannot, they will not launch because NASA is not going to send this towards the moon with anything less than a full fuel tank. So the solution at least the proposed solution. We got some video of it, actually. The launch director decided to send two technicians plus a safety person to the launch pad. You see them driving up the ramp to the pad with, again, a nearly fully fueled rocket. We're talking 500,000 gallons of liquid hydrogen on board this thing. That's why they need the safety technician with them. They're going in with wrenches. They're going to try and wrench down the nut, we're told, at the base of the launch pad. That is where this vent is, or this valve is, where the liquid hydrogen leak has been occurring now for about the last hour or so. Here's NASA when they first discovered the leak. Uh, the launch team is tracking um, an intermittent leak uh, on the cord stage replenish valve. This is on the hydrogen side. The location is at the base of the mobile launcher. Uh, the team reporting uh, to the NASA test director, it's going in and out of, uh, of leak measurement, and we are in stop flow. Intermittent leak, an intermittent leak, but again, enough to cause the fueling of this rocket to stop the replenishment of this rocket. So where do we stand at this very moment? We're told that red team, this specially trained group of technicians and the safety person have now left the pad. They're done. It took a little bit longer than they expected. It was only supposed to take 15 minutes. It ended up being about half an hour because we're told they were wrenching and testing and wrenching and testing. Eventually, NASA is going to start bringing up the pressure on this line again to see if they can continue replenishing. We'll be out here all night long seeing what happens. We're afraid this may delay the launch. There is a two-hour launch window, so we got some time. We're now live at the Kennedy Space Center. Eric Von Anken getting results. News 6. Eric, hard to believe that huge $4 billion rocket and somebody's twisting a wrench to fix one little <laughs> thing. That is amazing. We appreciate you.